Why does it seem like two strangers taking pictures together? Netizens are disappointed in the lack of chemistry between Park Seo Joon and Han So Hee in their couple's photo shoot. Han So Hee and Park Seo Joon's couple photo shoot for their upcoming drama has disappointed fans with their lack of chemistry. They are both starring in the drama, Jiang Seong Creature. It follows a group of young people who are focused on their own survival but encounter a monster born of human greed. On December 21st, Netflix posted of Han So Hee and Park Seo Joon to promote their series. In the photos, the two stars showcased their closeness and the chemistry fans could expect from the show. There was also a playful shot of the two that showed another side to Han So Hee and Park Seo Joon's bond. There were also pictures showing the two stars separately but pushing the chemistry between them by having their co-star in the background. When the photos come out fans on X couldn't hide their love for the visual chemistry between the two top stars. Yet while international netizens loved the chemistry between Park Seo Joon and Han So Hee, Korean netizens were more skeptical, believing that they are look like strangers and some even dubbing it as the a worst a couple photo they'd seen in a long time. Korean reactions to morning celebrities have been unforgiving, unapologetic, and unreasonably hateful. For his outstanding acting in Taxi Driver, actor Lee Jae Hoon took home one of the two shared grand prize, Daesang, awards at the 2023 SBS Drama Awards on December 29, 2023. During his acceptance speech, Lee grieved the loss of the late Lee Sun Kyung, calling him a role model, even though the two never go to work on a series together, Lee even dedicated the grand prize to the late actor. While Lee Sun Kyung's name was not mentioned, it was obvious that Lee Jae Hoon was talking about his late Sunbae. The speech has been gone viral, and as expected, reactions stemming from Korea are unforgiving, unapologetic and unreasonably hateful. While most of his fellow celebrities and international fans are mourning Lee's passing and the loss of a star in the world of acting, plenty of Koreans remain on the fence about Lee, clenching onto the piece of information that he was a VIP at an adult entertainment bar and using it to hold him to a much higher moral standard because he was a public figure. Shamelessly dubbing the late actor an adulterous addict, despite the lack of solid evidence, Koreans have expressed their disgust with Lee Jae Hoon for looking up to Lee Sun Kyun. Some even criticized Lee Jae Hoon for overlooking the essence of the taxi driver role he was awarded for, pointing out that character Kim Do Ji was an icon of righteousness fighting against drugs and prostitution. Hundreds of comments, under multiple posts about the speech, across Korea's multiple online communities have accumulated. When a few Koreans tried to defend Lee Jae Hoon and even call out the toxic nature of the comments being made, the backlash grew fiercer. Online communities like Thaku and Nate Pan have been breeding grounds for cruel comments about the late actor. Lee Gyu Tag, a professor of cultural studies at George Mason University, Korea, shared via CNN that this intense online culture is clearly unsafe. I believe that the internet is also having an influence in imposing stricter moral standards on actors and singers in Korea. Whether they did drugs or committed illegal crimes, if it is not a serious mistake, they should be punished by law, and that's it. But the public seem to think that people in the entertainment business deserve criticism or shameful comments on the internet. G-Dragon's Instagram post hints at him mourning Lee Sun Kyun. GD has seemingly joined the multiple Korean celebrities who have publicly paid their respects to the late actor Lee Sun Kyun. On December 28, the K-pop star posted a photo of a white chrysanthemum on his Instagram story without any caption. In Korean tradition, the flower symbolizes grief and is used by mourners to pay their respects to the deceased at a funeral. Lee Sun Kyun the popular Korean actor passed away suddenly on December 27, in the middle of being investigated for alleged drug use. The case has been highly publicized, and Dragon was also dragged into it. The singer, just like Lee was investigated for suspected drug use, and the allegations were made by the same party that accused Lee. Dragon and Lee Sun Kyun both underwent drug tests and tested negative. While the former was able to clear his name and even take extra measures to communicate his innocence to the public, the latter was still under investigation. A few days before his death, Lee Sun Kyun was interrogated by the police for 19 hours straight. Dragon's tribute to Lee Sun Kyun saddened fans, who feel that both the stars were targeted through an unfair witch hunt and wish that Lee Sun Kyun could finally find peace. Many criticized the agency for the timing. Lee Sun Kyun's agency speaks up against malicious rumors about the late actor. Lee Sun Kyun's agency Hoduan Yu Entertainment has notified the public that they will be pursuing legal action against malicious rumors and false information about the late actor. On January 3, the agency uploaded a post on its social media platforms, warning netizens that they are in the process of collecting relevant data about the misinformation and hearsay being circulated online about their actors and are taking legal action accordingly. 
The agency also specifically mentioned Lee Sun Kyun, saying they deeply regret that a malicious and indiscriminate reporting about him by certain media outlets in the past three months. They said that initially, they had hoped that a fair police investigation would eventually bring the truth to light, but with the actor's demise, that hope is long gone. Hence the agency is planning to take direct action and correct the facts one by one. Additionally, Hoduin Yu Entertainment mentioned that they have already filed a lawsuit against a reporter who spread false information, disguising it as facts on the night of December 27, 2023, they are asked for sincere apology and faithful participation in the coming legal procedures. Finally the agency explained that due to the ongoing police investigation, they were not at liberty to respond to all reports surrounding Lee Sun Kyun. But now they are requesting media outlets to correct or remove misleading articles, as well as those without proper sources or those reported without adequate fact-checking. While the death of Lee Sun Kyun, one of the most popular actor in South Korea, has created quite some conflicting reactions from the public in South Korea. A lot of fans responded positively to the agency's decision to pursue legal action. However many also mourned that this step might have come a little too late. Lee Sun Kyun passed away while being investigated for alleged drug use, allegations which he had denied all along. The actor was cleared of drug traces in multiple tests during the probe. However he was unfortunately found dead in a car in Jongyo, sold by the police on December 27, 2023.